Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a Tip Tuesday, a little bit of a different one. This one is for my wig sisters who have human hair wigs. So this is a human hair focused Tip Tuesday, but I'm curious to know if this tip could actually be used on a synthetic wig. So I am gonna try it on a synthetic, so stay tuned for that. What I'm gonna do today on this Tip Tuesday is I'm going to see if purple shampoo works on a on kind of a reddish brunette. So let me show you the products I'm gonna use and let me tell you what I'm talking about. So I have here L'Oreal Ever Pure Purple Shampoo and Conditioner. So these shampoo, uh, this, this shampoo set is meant to neutralize brassy yellow orange tones Typically, these are used in blonde wigs. So when people want their blonde, um, if somebody who has blonde hair, well, I shouldn't say even blonde wigs, it's really used on hair, just hair in general. And so somebody with bio hair or wig hair and who wants to get rid of some of those yellow brassy tones that you sometimes see in blondes will use purple shampoo on those wigs. And on my head right now, I am wearing John Renault Carey. This is the human hair wig that I just recently reviewed. This one's in the color 6F27, which is also known as Caramel Ribbon. If you have not seen my Carey video yet and my Carey color comparison, you really need to check those out. I will link them in the description. So this is, uh, I was, so if you watch those videos, you'll see that I was, quite disappointed by the color of this particular wig because I have the color 6F27 in a heat-friendly synthetic piece and absolutely love that color. And since then, I've seen it now in a regular synthetic like that even more. This, on the other hand, is very auburn. It's kind of brassy and auburn and you really cannot see the six, which is a medium dark brown, that brunette that you can see in the synthetic versions of this color. You really can't see that in this color at all. So again, go check out my color comparison, especially to see what I'm talking about, how different this color is from the synthetic version. So I got to thinking, this could be a good experiment. If I try purple shampoo, will this tone down the auburn, brassy auburn tones that I see in this color? So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna wash Carrie in both of these, shampoo and conditioner, and then I'm gonna air dry her, and then we'll see what we have. And I'm going to take before and after photos, and I will make sure that I include those photos in this video side by side, so you can see both on my head and on the countertop in all the, all the same lighting. So I've got exact apples to apples. I'm super curious. And then at some point, I might try it on a synthetic wig just to see. I have actually seen some people share that on a blonde synthetic wig, they can tone down the yellowness in a blonde and make it a little bit more ashy by using purple shampoo on a synthetic wig. So that's kind of cool and something worth experimenting with. So stay tuned. I'm going to Stop the video now, I'm gonna wash this baby up. I'm not gonna film that part because I am going to be doing a full hair washing video for my new wig wearer series very soon. Uh, but then I'll just come right back and, and once she's all dry and we'll see what we got. All right, I am back. It is the next day and she has been washed and dried and <laughs> I don't think it worked. Not really. I uh, really can't tell a difference. I've taken the before and after pictures and I've looked at them. And if there is a difference, it is super, super subtle. Super subtle. So you can stay tuned uh, for those side by side pictures. I'll put them on the end of this video. So I guess the bottom line is, well, could it have worked if I would have left it on longer? It's possible. So the instructions on the shampoo say that you should leave it, leave in for up to two minutes and then rinse. And if you want more intense results, gradually increase leave-in time and frequency of use. 
And so it's possible that what I'm trying to do here by toning down some of the brassiness of this auburn, which you can't see nearly as well on video as you can see in person. When I look at these fibers up close, they almost glow with like a coppery brassiness. And so what I'll do is I'll just make this the shampoo that I use on this wig from now on and see if eventually it'll tone down that kind of brassiness, the only way to describe it. Let me just show you though, before I close out this video, what the shampoo looks like. It is super, super purple, bright purple. And it has a very subtle smell. It's not heavily scented at all. Um, it says on here that it's hibiscus and it doesn't stain. It didn't stain the cap at all. It doesn't stain my fingers. It doesn't stain the countertop. I have a white sink and white counters and it didn't stain any of those things. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so maybe if I left it longer, so some of you who've used purple shampoo on blonde wigs, how long do you let the shampoo stay on the wig? Maybe I just didn't do it long enough. So I actually left it on the wig for five minutes. It said two minutes, but I left it on for five minutes. And then the conditioner, it says five minutes and then you can leave it on for longer for more intense results. I probably left it on for about five minutes because I was getting impatient and I wanted to be done washing my hair and get it to drying. So I would say that minimal amount of time was not really enough to make a, a measurable difference in the coloring on this wig. But if I leave it on for longer or uh, use it more often, we'll see what happens. So I will follow back up with you guys if anything changes. Leave in the comments your experience with purple shampoo and human hair or synthetic hair. Let us know if it works and if it's worth it for me to keep doing experimenting with it or not. Thanks for being here on this Tip Tuesday. For those of you who don't have human hair, I'll be back next week with a tip that'll be more relevant for you. I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you guys.